This is one of sport's great proving grounds, a gateway to glory where heroes are made. Absolutely first class. 28 tournaments spanning 16 countries. It's a 10-month campaign to determine the very brightest prospects in golf. into this. Brilliant. That could just have sealed his promotion. What a way to do it. Along the way, a chance for the class of 2022 to expand horizons and sample life on tour. Did you get that? No runners, <laughs> Finish the season in the top 20 on the Road to Mallorca rankings and secure a golden ticket to the DP World Tour. That's the dream shared by all who compete on the Challenge Tour. A glance at this year's schedule shows that some countries host multiple Challenge Tour events in 2022, others a single tournament, and some, like this week's host nation, just a half. Let me explain. A new event was born in 2021, the BNL Challenge Trophy. Its key principle, collaboration between nations. As such, the tournament is hosted in Belgium and the Netherlands in alternating years. 2021 saw it descend on the Dutch. Now it's been brought to Brussels. The venue in question, Hullen Court Golf. A largely open, undulating 27-hole complex laid out within an historic 17th century estate. My first impression, it was, it was very good. I mean, everything looks, looks really, really good. Uh, and the greens, greens obviously looking very good and uh, it's, uh, I think it's gonna be a great week. So it's a beautiful course. Um, greens look to be a little tricky. Uh, looks maybe middle of the green is usually okay. Some places you don't wanna miss it. But yeah, beautiful place, 10 out of 10. Yeah, it was a lot of fun last year. We, I went into a four-man playoff. Um, made a birdie on the first playoff hole, but two other guys made theirs as well. And it was still a great week and a fantastic tournament. That's the main goal, to be in the, in the top 20. So it's, uh, I put myself in a, in a good position. So uh, just to, uh, to, make, uh, to make the best of it, of the last events. Well, as always, the incentive is clear. Perform well this week and reap the rewards of moving up the road to Mallorca rankings. Speaking of which, Freddy Schott currently leads the way, but only just. The German a mere two and a half points ahead of Denmark's Oliver Hunderball and Jens Dantorp's not far behind. The opposite end of our top 20 has a bit of a Spanish flavor. Alejandro Del Rey, Emilio Cuartero Blanco and Borca Virto all on track for promotion. A decent display this week would certainly help alleviate the pressure, of course. And that was at the forefront of most men's minds as play got underway at the BNL Challenge Trophy. Watching proceedings unfold for us, Josh Antman. Christopher Blomstrand laid up here on the par 5 ninth. Almost didn't tee up this morning, Christopher. Suffering from a fever. Just a wedge in here. Oh, that'll make him feel a whole lot better. Fantastic from Blomstrand there. Tapping birdie for him. Now, Kim Koivu playing the 18th. A fairway bunker found. However, this is on the 9th fairway. Bit of manoeuvring to do for Kim here. Over those trees. Oh, but how about this from Koivu? That is simply stunning from the Finn. One of the recoveries of the season. He'll get to six under par. Chris Mevis, this for birdie at three. One of the par for his first round, going well on day two. This for three birdies in a row. Oh, superbly done from Chris, 22nd in the Challenge Tour rankings at the moment and going well this week. Clement Sorday, fantastic opening round of 63, nine under par for the Frenchman. Things a bit slower today, just off bogey on 16 but this at the par 3 17th pin high it's very good from Sorde 13th last week looking to build on that Martin Simonson it's for birdie at 6 slightly down the hill here 
One under for his day so far. We'll make that two under. Great roll from Martin. Winner at the Cascada earlier this year. Sorde, after that decent tee shot here at 17. This for Birdie, one under for his day so far. We'll make that two. Playing some lovely golf at the moment, Sorde. Now moves to 11 under par and he is still right in this tournament. Robin C.O. Segrist laid up on this par five third hole. Already has three birdies in his round today. Out in 33 blows. Just a wedge in here and that's lovely control. From C.O. Segrist, surely another birdie on the scorecard. Winner of the opening event of the season, Dimension Data Pro-Am, Alexander Kanapa. This on 13 for birdie. Yeah, well converted by Kanapa. Started the day on 10 and had birdies at 10 and 11. So three under through four for Kanapa. What a start for the German on day two. Frenchman Zhong Wong Ko shot a fabulous 65 on day one. Currently five under for the day here on day two. This to save par at 17. Superbly done by Ko. He stays at 12 under par and Ko's the man who leads the way in Belgium. And minus 12 is where the Frenchman would finish on day two. A stroke ahead of compatriot Robin C.O. Sigrist. Behind them sharing third, an Italian, a Swede, a Portuguese, two Germans and an Aussie. So a multinational leaderboard, but the host nation were well represented too, don't you know? Nearly half of those entered made the cut and three of those were within six strokes of the lead. No wonder the home contingent were smiling. I think at the moment we are really lucky. We are uh, having top players, I think, or very good players at the European Tour. We are producing others to follow. So yes, I think the game is, is going in a good direction in Belgium. We're not a lot of golfers, actually. I think something around 50, 55,000 only. So not a lot of professionals who like to go for a career on tour. The guys that want to go for it, yeah, they're doing well. We got two youngsters now playing well on the Pro Golf Tour. Obviously, we got the two Thomases and Nicholas on the main tour. I've been out here for a while now, and I'm doing well this season. Hopefully, we move up uh, to the DP World next year. The guys that are playing, they do, they do well. A Challenge Tour event for us means that, yeah, we, we have the opportunity or we create opportunity for them to play, to compete on their own soil with the better players on the world and see where they are. If I talk to youngsters now, they really see them doing well uh, they say, if, ah, if they can do it, I have a chance. And it was the same thing in tennis. All, when you had Kleisters and Hennen, all of a sudden you saw a big boom. And we saw it as well a bit in golf, but not as uh, exponential as it was with uh, tennis. I think if, if you dream, you can dream big. As a small country, yes, we have two players in the, in the last few years on the Ryder Cup team. We might even imagine to have a third player. That is something we have to think about. More players there means we're uh, growing the game and yeah, we'll take it from there. Yes, the future potentially is bright. The future is black, gold and red. After the break, it's time to turn on, tune in and rock out. Being able to to shut everything else out, it, it plays a major role. And we reveal who emerges triumphant at the BNL Challenge Trophy. All that and more when we come back. Welcome back to the Challenge Tour and to Belgium, where the BNL Challenge Trophy is well underway. With 36 holes in the book, 70 men remain in the hunt for glory here at the stunning Hulen Court Golf Club. The idea it was to create a championship golf course ready to host 
uh, international uh, competition. And for us in Ulancourt, this is the first time we, we organize uh, a big uh, competition like this. All people in the world can see what we are doing, what we are creating. And then for us, is a fantastic window uh, on the world. Are those most likely to benefit from said window? A pair of Frenchmen. Robin Sio Segrist trailing tournament leader Yong Guan Ko by one shot on Saturday morning. Much movement was expected, however, as we return to the action in the company of Josh Antman. Dominic Fu started the day on 10 under par. A birdie at his very first hole. Made it to this par three second. Over water, this tricky par three. That's fantastic from Dominic Foos. What a tee shot that is. Could be back-to-back -back birdies for the German. Alan John, four under for the day up to now. This for birdie at the par three 11th. Oh, just grabbed a piece of the right edge. Yeah, why not Alan with the fist pump? Six birdies on the day, moved to 13 under par. Surely a formality for Dominic Foos at the par three second hole. This for back-to-back -back birdies. What a start to round three for Dominic Foos. Very quickly moves to 12 under par. Sean Wong Ko, the 36 hole leader. Long range effort for birdie here at 15. Oh, just gets a piece of that right edge. Moved to 17 under par. Two top tens on the season for the Frenchman. Looking for that first victory on the Challenge Tour. Co Segris seems to be in all sorts of bother here. To the right of 16, a lot of trees in the way. We'll have to conjure up something very special from here. Oh, and he has done. How about that for a recovery? Just two under for his round, but a chance to go to three under. Playing alongside Co Segris, fellow Frenchman and leader Co, that ball is sitting down. Have to dig this one out on 16. What a job he's done there! Fantastic chance to extend his lead here on 16. Now Co Segrist, after that miraculous recovery, he's got this for birdie to get to 14 under par. It's tracking. It was always going to be a birdie, wasn't it? After that drive, second last week, Co Segrist in a rich vein of form at the moment. Now Co, after a lovely wedge here into 16, this to extend his lead. Not much break in this, brilliant from Co. Three birdies in his last four holes, and he's now at 18 under par. Alexander Kanapa just found this left side of 18, good lie. Good position here as well at the last hole. No bogeys on the scorecard today. In fact, just one bogey in his three days work so far here at Hulencourt. Laser iron from the German and a fantastic chance to gain one more shot tonight. A few people watching on. Kanapa, that fine approach here at the last. About 12 feet for birdie. Already a winner on the Challenge Tour this season. That was nowhere else except Centre Cup. And Alexander Kanapa moves within two shots of the leader, Jung Won Ko. In fact, that deficit would be halved soon after when the Frenchman himself bogeyed the final hole. Elsewhere, a six under par 66 vaulted South Africa's Bryce Easton into contention here in Hulencourt. Three rounds in the book then, and peace reigns once more or so you'd think. There are a lot of sounds around you when, when we practice and stuff, so uh, being able to, to shut everything else out and just keep focused that uh, it, it plays a major role. Personally for me it's just sort of more zoning out, just kind of a bit of white noise almost in the background, especially sort of warming up before tournament days. It's just a little bit of something to keep the uh, mind occupied while you're getting ready for, for, the, for the day. 
You know, sometimes when I'm practicing, I want to distract myself to let the time go by a bit faster, but also to, to focus on what I have to do and not listen to anything else on the, on the outside. Yeah, I'm on my game all day, the same all day. I love Eminem. I listen to Eminem pretty much every day. And uh, EDM, I, I like Martin Garrix and all that. And then reggaeton, there's multiple artists I like that I, that I listen to every day. Sort of current kind of chart hits, really. Um, just a mixture of playlists and of sort of recent music uh, for the most part. The Spanish guys, they I think they they will probably win the, the better music. Like they have a bit more like the, what's it called? The reggaeton, the a bit more party music. Sometimes reggaeton is just fun to like get myself in a good mood. I really like listening to country music and it, it kind of uh, brings me back to, to the college days. Uh, just keep, keeps me calm. Um, and then, I mean, I, I do like some classic rock as well, like some good guitar solos, a uh, bit of rap music every now and then if I, if I go to the gym. Uh, then come tournament days, it, it gets a bit more upbeat, uh, just trying to get ready for, uh, for the tournament. Uh, you know, when you, you take them out and maybe the sunglasses come off, then uh, it's, it's back to being, you know, your, your social self again. The following morning, back down to business. And the BNL Challenge Trophy title still very much up for grabs. Jong Won Ko leads the way on minus 17, remember, with Alex Kanapa, Alan John, and Bryce Easton ready to pounce. Calling the action for us once again, Josh Antman. Last week's winner, Mikael Lindbergh. This for birdie at his very first hole. What gets him to 14 under par? Lindbergh couldn't go back to back, could he? He's made a very good start to this final round. Now Ko, the 54 hole leader. Just a couple of feet here for birdie at the third. Oh, maybe a sign of some early nerves for Ko. Looking for that first win on the Challenge Tour. Hopefully, that's just a minor blip for the Frenchman. Nathan Kimsey has found the bunker at the par five ninth here. It's a lovely touch from Kimsey. Currently level with Ko at the top of the leaderboard thanks to three birdies on his front nine. Sunglasses on for the crowd. Warm day in Belgium. Kimsey for par. To remain in the mix with Co at the top of the leaderboard. Yeah, well done. Already a winner in France this year, Kimsey. Alexander Knappa. Nearly made the green here in two at the par five tenth. Two under for the day so far, and that has got to sit down. Oh, would you believe it? An eagle for Alexander Kanapa at the 10th. That was going well through the back of the green at 10. We have a new leader. A little wry smile on the face there of Kanapa. Tom McKibben, he's having a fantastic week. A great season as well. 13th in the Challenge Tour rankings. This is his approach at the 16th. Another searing iron shot from the Northern Irishman. Just 19 years old, Tom. What a season he's having. Umbrellas are out, thankfully not for the rain here on Sunday. Sio Sigris has had an up and down final round. This for birdie at 16, needs to hold this and need some help from the leaders. Oh, he's done it. 17 under par for Robin. It's a good four days work so far. Mikael Lindbergh has driven greenside here at 15, so he's here for one. It's a good touch here. Oh, that's checked up very quickly. Back into the wind, that chip. Interested spectators. Should be an exciting finish here in Belgium. Lindbergh, this for birdie. About 10, 12 feet. I'm gonna get there. Oh, just finds the edge. You can breathe, Mikel. Gets him to 18 under par. Alexander Kanapa, he's greenside of this par 4 15th in one. Going with the putter. He's already holed out for Eagle. Once off the green, 
today. Nearly a second time for Kanapa. Not quite. Formality for Birdie. And Alexander Kanapa moves three shots clear. What a Sunday the Germans having. Big crowd around the 18th. Alexander Kanapa just in the right rough of 18 here. Lindbergh has set the clubhouse target of 19 under par. Drop shot just on 17 from Kanapa means a par or better would win it for the German. And Kanapa, you would think, just going to roll this whole side. That's exactly what he's done. Many watching on. Alexander Knappa has this for the title here in Belgium. No problems at all. It's win number two on the 2022 season for Alexander Knappa. Final round of 68 gets the job done for the German. And he's now number one on the Road to Mallorca rankings. Jong Won Ko never really got it going Sunday. His level par final round sees him slip down into a share of fourth, alongside McKibben and Seo Segrist. Ahead of them, Kimsey and Lindbergh, and of course, a jubilant Alex Kanapa. The champion is Alexander Knappe. In my mind, I have to shoot six under to win it, for sure. So when I was five under going in the, to the last three holes, I thought one more birdie, come on. I didn't really know. I never checked the lever, leaderboard. Should have done on 17 because I went a little bit aggressive with my putt. But um, yeah, I managed to uh, get it done. With a win, it feels even better. Being number one in the ranking now is great. Having two wins, now I'm chasing the third one to get the best category. A fabulous week for Alex then, and one that brings with it added reward. The German now climbing from 12th to the very summit of the Road to Mallorca rankings. Good progress too for Nathan Kimsey, the Englishman up from 7th to 4th, and Mikael Lindbergh up five spots into 6th place. Tom McKibben's graduation hopes were boosted greatly by his fourth place finish in Belgium. The Ulsterman now up into 13th, while Nikolai Christensen of Denmark replaces Borka Vieto in that crucial 20th and final promotion place. And so concludes an eventful four days in Belgium. Next up for the class of 2022, a moment of respite, a welcome week off before competition resumes in Portugal. It will mark the home straight, the final five tournaments before we head to Mallorca and the season ending grand final. Join us next time then, when the journey towards the 2023 DP World Tour resumes.